Learning new details tonight on a domestic dispute that's left a Green Township man dead and the suspect, his son-in-law, recovering in the hospital after being shot by police. Nine News reporter Jessica Knoll tells us what happened at a Green Township condominium complex. Island emergency, Harris. There's a gentleman down in Mary Island and screaming and beating on stuff. Police responded to Arbor Woods condominiums in Green Township after several calls like that one came into 911 around 3.30 Sunday morning. I just called, I, and they're not here yet. I, he's getting ready to shoot a gun. 911 emergency dispatcher bell. My husband, I got a restraining order against him. I think he may be over here. I hear banging on their condo door. And Sherry Franks, the estranged wife of suspect David Franks, was staying with her parents at Arbor Woods after he was charged with domestic violence for allegedly choking her last week. We responded to a 911 call, shots fired. Our officers responded, an initial officer. Uh, Reported on the scene, heard shots fired, uh, called for backup. Uh, two additional officers responded. It like I heard like three sets where it sounded like, like boom, 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 boom. Like Police five. moved to the rear of the building and found 45 year old David Franks pointing a handgun at them. And confronted a uh, shooter at the back of a condo and appears to be, uh, they re returned fire. Officers fired, striking the suspect three times. We're in the rear of the complex. We have one subject down, shots fired, one in custody. Police went inside to find Sherry and her daughter unharmed hiding in the bathroom. Her father, 76-year-old James Schobert, was shot. He was dead when paramedics arrived. In Green Township, Jessica Knoll, 9 News. Police say suspect David Franks is in stable condition at University Hospital. He's charged with aggravated murder, aggravated burglary, and three counts of attempted murder of a police officer. The case remains under investigation by the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office.